new zone it's a new life um good morning i've come into the bathroom to put some eye patches on because i feel like a zombie this morning i don't know whether it's because it's the time of the month or if I just feel overwhelmed, I don't know, but I just feel like so bleh this morning. So, we'll put some eye patches on, but today's actually an exciting day because I'm going to an event with ASOS and Adidas. Like, sorry. When I got invited to it, I was like, I'll be there. <laughs> I was like, I'm coming. So, um, that is where I'm headed today. Um, I'm having like a, it's like a lunch thing um wait i can't remember how you put these on put like this i haven't put eye patches on in a while um is this the right way i think it is uh anyway um yeah it's like a lunch event which is super exciting um and this is quite a cool event um oh, no, did that me. so i'm looking forward to going to it i got gifted an outfit which i'll obviously course show you guys when i um get ready but i don't need to leave till like half 12 ish and it's currently 10 so i'm just going to probably like do a little bit of emails the worky bits um before i get ready but i just thought for some eye patches on to wake myself up because yeah like i said i feel like a zombie this hoodie is from urban outfitters by the way um but yeah i just feel really low but i think it's because i'm on my period <laughs> oh i hate being a woman sometimes um but yeah hello i'm looking considerably more awake alive ready to take on the day did not feel good this morning did not but i always find that when you put your hair Put your hair on, put your makeup on, do your hair, you always feel like more yourself. Especially if you're feeling low, I think it's good to make yourself feel good. But I've just got ready because, I'll take you into my bedroom, I am going to an event with Adidas and ASOS. Um, did I mention that earlier? I don't know. But if I did, sorry for repeating, if I didn't, I'm going to an event with Adidas and ASOS, which is mad to me because like this is something that like I would only have ever like dreamed of before, which is kind of crazy. I've worked with ASOS a few times um, and then when they invited me to this like lunch, I was like, wow. I did mention it earlier. I did. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd show you my outfit because they gifted me an outfit to wear to the event including a pair of trainers and you guys know i love my trainers so i thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys what they look like before i put them on um so you can see them in case they get dirty in the process let's face it i live in london i might scuff them i want them to look nice when you guys see them but i'm going to show you my outfit first and then i'll show you the trainers okay so for my outfit i've got this really cute little knitted um crop top on when i was picking these items the weather said it was going to be 22 but I was like, I don't want to be like, pick something that's like legs out and it end up being really cold. I didn't want to pick something that was like too covered up in case it was warm. So there was a bit of a dilemma there. But I thought this knitted top was really, really cute. I love a little knitted top. Um, I've just got a little bra underneath because it's a tad see-through. And since I'm going to like a brand lunch, I thought maybe I shouldn't do that. So I've got a little bra on. I say a little bra, it's like a little fabric -y one. It's nothing exciting. Um, and then I picked these black trousers i love a black trouser i think they're a really good staple piece to have in your wardrobe but also great for like all year round these ones have a elasticated style waist you can't really tell but they're elasticated at the top which makes them very very comfortable just a pull-on situation which i kind of love um they've got pockets which we love and then like a seam down the front they're very loose very baggy i got these in a size four and i think the top in a size six an extra small i'm not sure um and then all of my jewelry that i'm wearing is from pandora apart from my earrings they are from ashford and Mew. um i wasn't gonna wear this little chain that i have from pandora around my weight waist oh god i can't speak today waist 
Um, but I think it kind of adds to the edginess of the look. Like, I feel like this outfit needed something else because the top and the bottom are quite plain. I do think I'm going to take my black blazer with me as well because even though it looks kind of warm, I feel like it could have a bit of a chill in the air. So, this is my outfit. Let me show you guys the trainers. I've actually had my eye on these trainers for a while. Um, I just didn't want to buy them because I don't need them, but when Adidas said they wanted to send me a pair of trainers for this event, I was like, yes. So, are we ready? Do, do, do. Wow, look at these. I'm obsessed with them. When I opened them, I was like, I love you. These are the Adidas forums. Um, I already have a pair of Adidas forums. Let me show you. I have these orange ones. You may have seen them in a previous vlog and I love them I think they're so comfortable so when I was picking a pair I saw these and I thought those are so something that I could see myself wearing so I picked these and I'm so excited I feel like they'll go perfectly with my outfit because the outfit's quite plain and these just add like a bit of color even though my trousers will cover them probably completely but how cute Here's what they look like on, and I love them. I mean, the socks are not really selling them. There we go. <laughs> but I think they're so cool. I just think they look like such a vibe. And then with the trousers, if I position the trousers properly, they just look really cool. And I think the whole outfit is just... It's such a me vibe. You guys know I love a pair of trainers. And when I find a pair of trainers that I love the style of, and I think they're cool, and like, these are very similar in style and kind of comfort and look to Nike Dunk. So if you're looking for a pair of shoes that give the Nike Dunk kind of vibe, then Adidas forums are so good for that. And they have so many colors as well. I will link these below. I'll link the whole outfit below for anyone who wants to shop it. Um, so you can go and purchase these things if you want to but I highly recommend the Adidas forum trainers I'll also link my orange ones as well because the orange ones are really nice so yeah I'm just gonna pop a blazer on let's try it with a blazer to be honest I think a blazer is the only jacket I have that will go with this outfit because I mean I could wear a leather jacket but I feel like a leather jacket is a bit warm so I've just gone for this blazer this is from Naked they're not actually the same texture but, you know, we were like, we can make this work, can't we? Walk into the event, like, got my trainers on. Can't see them, but they're there. Love it. Right, I'm going to get myself together and head off because I actually need to go soon. I've been too busy chatting to you guys, so I'm going to head off and I will hopefully film some bits whilst I'm there. Okay, this is the final fit. Got my blazer on, Sunny's on, got my um, Celine Ava bag. Um, and we are heading to the event. So I will see you when I'm there. Good afternoon, evening. It's evening, it's evening. I'm also a little bit drunk, so I apologize in advance, but I'm gonna put some videos and clips that I filmed on my phone of the ASOS event that you can see over the top or to the side, I don't know. I try to film stuff, but I, every time I go to events, I get so chatty. And when I get chatty, I just don't think to film anything. So I'll pop what I can on the screen so you can see what I got up to. But essentially, it was really nice to kind of see the new collection from Adidas that's on ASOS. And to kind of meet the ASOS and Adidas team properly. Like, I've worked with ASOS a few times. And it's been, oh, look, you can see my trainers in the background. Uh, um, it was really nice. Like, I genuinely had such a good time. And I am quite, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel drunk. I feel drunk. Oh, there we go. You know when you, like, do you ever get this? Where you feel like you're, like, a little bit drunk. And you're like, I can't, I'm, I, I can't share this with anyone. Because I went to the event. And, like, I feel like you, sometimes you don't realise how drunk you are until you leave. And it's not until you get home and you're like, whoa. That's how I feel. Anyway, went to the side desk event. It was amazing, loved it. Got a goodie bag. Well, it was in a box. It was in a nice Adidas X ASOS box. But they gave us bags to carry at home because the box was quite chunky. So I thought I would show you what is inside my goodie bag since I didn't actually really film anything at the event. Um, but the goodie bag, I'm just gonna move my chair over, is pretty good. Um, so, I'm gonna pull things out. First thing we got. Oh, they're like attached. Okay, so we've got like a comb. 
I love aesthetic combs like this. And a clip that matches, which I'm just so here for clips like this at the moment. So, very excited about that. Then we've got a Lano Lips uh, 101 ointment. I've used this before and it's incredible. It really helps if you've got dry lips. So I recommend trying out Lano Lips if you never tried Lano Lips. I love their, con their content. I love their stuff. Please ignore me because I'm a little bit tipsy. Um, then we've got some, like, they're like head scarves. Are they both the same size? Oh, this one's bigger. Head scarves. We've got this like a nice like um, almost Fendi print. I love the neutral colours. I'm here for the neutral colours. Then we've got this like brownie coloured one. Love, 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 love. Then we get. Well, I'm going to show you something from Adidas now because you're probably bored of seeing non Adidas things. So first up, we have this cute little like cropped um, polo style top. I love this zip detail. I love a three quarter zip. Like, how cute. Cream. I love the like red against the cream. That's really sweet. So, and then there's a matching pair of shorts. How fun. I love this. Oh, I love this. How cute. Love that. That's such a cute little set. Their collection that they've just brought out. It was shot on Maud, Maud, <laughs> Maud Apatow, Apatow, she's in um, Euphoria, I love her, like the whole collection looks beautiful, it's a, such a nice collection actually, um, also got this t-shirt, which is like a navy blue t-shirt with this cool Adidas um, like print, from their resort collection. I really like this, I think this is kind of fun. Maybe with some like white shorts, kind of more of like a sports chic kind of vibe. I really like that, that's cute. So I've got that. Then, what else did we get? A quarterly 50 plus uh, SPF. We love an SPF, who doesn't love an SPF? Um, this is cute, I, I think this is so cute. So this is a little Adidas bag. It looks like this, it's got a little and a nice charm. It's actually, oh, it's Velcro. Love that. Let me put it on. Oh. Okay, I probably would loosen it a little bit, but cute. I'm really trying not to get makeup on everything. That's so cute. It's like a little canvas bag. Love that. And then we've got some little hair clips. What's in this? ASOS Sunnies. Oh, don't tempt me with a pair of sunnies. Ooh, they're quite cool actually. I love me a pair of sunnies. Love, love, love. And then there's two more things in here. Oh no, there's not, there's three more things in here. Got some little gold hoops. You guys know I love me a gold hoop or some jewelry. But then we have a reversible bucket hat. I'm here for this. Let me show you. How does this look? Mm. Navy version. White version. How cute. And then the last thing, the last thing in this bag, I think is probably my favourite. So I showed you earlier the new pair of trainers that Adidas slash ASOS sent me. In this goodie bag, they've given us a pair of trainers. They've given us a pair of white, um, go right on the floor, why don't you? They've given us a pair of white Adidas Forum trainers. I have thought about buying a pair of white uh, Adidas Forums for ages, but I was kind of like, do I need them? Not really, because I have a lot of trainers. Two pairs of free trainers in a week. My heart is crying inside. Like it's crying inside. Because you guys know how much I love my trainers. Like I honestly love trainers more than a human being should. And like to be given two pairs of trainers that, and by this, this style I love. And you know we were just like, what? 
life seems surreal right now. But yeah, white pair. I recommend these trainers a lot, by the way. Like, and even this white pair, I think they're a good classic. You can remove this strap, let me show you. Remove this strap. A lot of people don't know this, but you can remove the strap. So if you're thinking, oh, I really like the Adidas forums, I think they're really cool. For the most part, you can re remove the strap. The ones I was wearing earlier, let me get them. These ones, you can't actually remove the strap because they're more of a like, the only way I can describe it is like expensive looking. They look a little bit more fancy. They've got like more textures on them. They've got the suede, etc. They're a little bit more like designed for the strap to stay there. The strap is like essentially like designed with the shoe whereas like the more kind of classic designs the classic simple designs you can remove the strap so with the strap without the strap the orange ones i showed you earlier i wear without the strap um i think they're really cool they're very similar in terms of style to like maybe like a nike air force or a nike dunk but a little bit different if you don't want something that everyone has so yeah love them and that is essentially everything in my goodie bag. And that is probably going to be the end of today because I am drunk. And um, I'm going to sit on the sofa. I need to eat some dinner. Um, yeah, that's me. I hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Today, I feel exhausted. Uh, to be fair, I did go to bed late because I was on FaceTime and um, basically, I think my social battery run out. I don't know about any of you guys, but I'm like very much an introvert, but I'm also an extrovert sometimes. It really depends on the day, my mood, what I'm doing, who I'm surrounded by, it really depends. Um, yesterday, I went to the event, which was amazing. I was social for like all afternoon. It was fine, came home, and then I FaceTimed someone, and then I had, I watched Love Island, and then I faced someone, FaceTimed someone else. And, like, you know, when you're just tired, like, I think I've just socialized too much. And then on the weekend, my friend Megan was here. So I haven't really had a lot of time to be with myself um i have and i haven't i feel like i'm my body can socialize to a, to an extent and then i get to a point where i'm like no i i, I can't <laughs> and like i look exhausted to be fair the facetime call that i had last night was until like quarter past 12 which is late for me so that probably didn't help but i think today i do have like one piece of content that I need to do um, for a campaign but I think other than that I am just going to chill on the sofa because I feel exhausted um, and I think like social batteries and stuff like that I've not really spoken about a lot um, and like if you're like me and like, I'm an introvert, I love, I love my own space. And it's so interesting, because when I speak to people that don't, are not like this, they're like, do you not get bored? And I, I'd never get bored, because I love my own company. Um, I think it's something I've just learned over the years, like, as I grew up, and when I was like, had really bad social anxiety when I was younger, I just kind of got used to being on my own, and I, I'm very content being on my own. Um, phone just passed um and it's so nice to be able to spend time on your own um and that's one of the reasons why i absolutely love living in my own flat because i can literally sit on my own for days and have no issues um which i love and i also think sometimes it does also force me to leave the house because i won't have spoken to anyone um but my social battery is well and truly like gone um which is weird because i don't feel like i've been extraordinarily social like on the weekend i was with my friend megan and i don't think she exhausts my social battery really um sunday i was basically by myself but i was like tidying so it's not like i chilled out 
um monday it was like catching up with work i was by myself didn't see anyone and then tuesday so yesterday i was like busy at this event and then was like on facetime and i think you don't realize how like even though two face facetime calls with two people that i really like talking to um it's just a bit like draining i think because you've spoken for so long like both facetime calls i think were an hour if not more um the second one i think was more and like i was just like i've woken up this morning and i'm like i need to chill <laughs> i need to chill and i'm lucky i have that luxury in this job to be like you know what i'm taking the day to just chill um I did actually technically work on the weekend because I shot content so I can technically take a day off but I hate taking a day off during the week because I always feel like if I could be working then I should be working. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I'm feeling today. Social battery has run out and I think you've got to listen to your body sometimes and i do feel tired i literally woke up i think do you know what one thing i find mad is that like you know how when you're asleep sorry i'm going on for a tangent but i just have to talk about this you know when you're asleep and you have dreams well i learned that you're only ever dream in light sleep which is fascinating to me so, but then also makes sense because you only remember the dreams that you've just had and they usually, it's probably because you've been in light sleep, you've not been in deep sleep. Anyway, um, I was having such a good dream, like not like anything, it wasn't like an amazing dream where I was like, wow, that's so good. It was like an interesting dream and there was a lot going on in it and I can't really relay it to you because like it was just a weird dream but it was so interesting. And like sometimes I wonder to myself, like, why am I dreaming this? Like, where does this come from? Um, I can't remember what was happening in it, but I woke up and I was like, whoa. But it's always the way, like when I'm having like a light dream, like a dream before I wake up, instantly I'm exhausted. And I didn't wake up any time before then I must have stirred and that's caused me into a light sleep. And then I had this really like interesting dream. And then, from that uh, my alarm went off and i was like no but my alarm was set for eight which is already later than i've been trying to get up so i was like oh, i have to wake up i have to um especially because i also had content to post um but anyway that's me i will catch up with you a bit later when i've woken up i actually feel a little bit better now i've spoken to someone and by someone i mean the camera um but yeah social battery is well and truly Hello, it's currently the next day um, from when I last spoke to you. I've just been filming content, <laughs> so much mess. Um, but I'm now about to um, have some lunch. Yesterday I made this like salmon and rice thing with the gusto recipes. And I of course have some leftover, so I'm going to eat it up in the microwave and have that for lunch um but i do actually have i'm also trying to open this i do actually have some parcels to share with you they're sat like just down there um which i thought we could go through because um they're all like kind of fun things i mean there's only like three things but i thought i'd show you anyway because otherwise they'll just sit there for ages um this is the food but it looks really gross so that my microwave went into a bit of chaos there we go pop that in catch you in a bit it's parcel unboxing time please excuse the dishwasher in the background i put the dishwasher on when i told myself put it on after filming this clip but here we are um so i'm gonna have to deal with that hopefully it's not too bad um, but I've got three parcels to show you guys are right here. I showed you guys the stuff that was in my Adidas thing the other day when I was a little bit drunk. Um, so that's still over here. I've got some stuff. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys what I got. So the first thing I got 
was this new book by Cameron Ward. This is called A Stranger on Board. Um, it looks like this. I'm not the biggest reader, but one thing I really want to get into in like the evening times, especially because like now I live alone, there's not really anything that's like distracting me as such. Um, you know, like when you live up with other people, you have conversations, you chat, like it can take up like an evening, you'll talk about things. Whereas like now, I'm not gonna have someone coming in and having a conversation with me because I live by myself. So I wanna kind of use some of my time to like read a little bit more and just like unwind in ways that's not watching TV because I get very bored of watching TV. Anyway, um, so when they said they wanted to send me this, I was like, yes, I'm up for that. Um, it sounds like, a bit of a thriller from um oh no maybe it's like a horror a horror thriller it's got something about someone being murdered anyway i thought it sounded really good um it says on here welcome to the yacht of your dreams a swimming pool an art gallery an award-winning chef and a killer picking you off one by one i'm excited i'm excited to try that and then they also sent me this little cocktail kit um, I would open it, but it's got tape on, so I can't really show you. But when I use it, if I use it at any point when I'm vlogging, I'll show you guys what's inside. But how fun. I'm going to leave that with, like, I don't have any alcohol in this house, but when I collect alcohol over time, it will sit with my little, like, drinks area, which will probably be in the cupboard. Um, then I got this. I didn't even know this was arriving. I went downstairs this morning to go and um, pop into the shop. And I saw this on the floor and I was like, oh, a parcel. <laughs> um, so this is from Nux or Nukes. Nukes Paris? Nux Paris? Um, this is their cream, cream fresh, the beauty. Look, I can't read that. I don't know what that means. I don't even want to butcher it. But anyway, it's a new little um, collection that they've got come out. This is a moisturizing mattifying fluid then we've got um a plumping mask oh no this is 48 hour moisturizing cream makeup remover milk and a plumping mask all in one that sounds good it's a three in one love that love a three in one product and the last thing in here is a moisturizing plumping cream I love trying out like new moisturizers and stuff like that because they're always so I love the packaging too they're always so like nice to nice to see what else is out there and I actually haven't tried anything from Nux, Nukes, Paris in a very long time because I had like one little thing from like a like an advent calendar once um so thank you can't wait to try those I'll obviously let you guys know what I think and then the last parcel is very exciting it's from our place now, I already have this exact item that I'm about to show you, and I love it. And I just thought, when they asked if, they, if I wanted to be sent one, I was like, yes. Because my one's a bit dead now, where like I used it. Well, I haven't even shown you what it is. Let me show you what it is. It's the Our Place Always Pan. This pan, I already have exactly in this color, and I love it. I think it's a great pan. You can do a lot with it. Um, and it's a really good quality pan. You do have to look after it, and that's one thing I think is important. My one that I have in the cupboard is quite dead because it wasn't looked after in the right way. I shared it with a few other people that I was living with at the time, and naturally, like, you know, sometimes you just don't look after things how you should. Um, but anyway, when they asked me if I wanted one, I was like, yes, because I love it. And the other pan's still great, by the way. It's just like kind of dead from where it's been used like constantly because when you use it as a person just on your own, you're not using it all the time. But when there's like multiple people using it, like maybe every other day, like everyone's using it, it just starts to die a little because it's like that's not normal with a pan. I've had that one for ages. Anyway, got a new one and I'm very happy about it. And I've been waiting for this moment to open it because I want to show you guys. And when you order the Our Place pan, you also get this little kind of like sieve. Um, obviously, you can use it as a, like a, a drainer, but you can also use it to steam vegetables and stuff in the pan. The pan is amazing. I highly recommend going and checking out like the details about it. You can put like 10 different things in here. I wonder if I can find the thing that tells you. It also sent a spoon. Um, well, not a spoon. What do you call it? A spatula. 
you can rest this on the edge of the pan like so, which I love. So I've actually got like four of these now, which I love. So I highly recommend checking out our place. I'll link the pan below. They also do amazing like um, cups, bowls, stuff like that. I've actually got some bowls and plates in my kitchen that are from our place and I love them. They're so nice, such good quality. Um, and same with their glasses. I've got some glasses and they're really nice. So highly, highly recommend checking out our place. Those are all of the things that I have to show you. Um, just a small little bit today, but can now get rid of the box, which is fabulous. Anyway, I've actually got to go into uh, the bedroom and go and tidy up my mess and plan some outfits because I'm shooting tomorrow and the room's a mess. So I'm going to whack a movie on on my laptop, get tidying, get styling, and then I need to wash my hair because my hair, I know you can't tell, like right now I actually think it looks, it doesn't look very greasy. I washed my hair on... I think it was Sunday night. I think it was Sunday night. Potentially Monday. It was one of the two. We're now on Thursday and I've not touched it. I try to leave my hair as long as I possibly can um, because I just can't ever be bothered to wash it. Like it's quite fast. Um, so yeah, I need to wash my hair. But anyway, you don't need to know that. I'm going to go head into my room and get on because. There's a lot of mess. I completely forgot a parcel was coming today. I ordered, we well can't really see it, a rail for my room because every time I have like something new in or like I want to plan outfits or anything like that, I just can't because like I've got nowhere to hang things. Like my wardrobe is full and when I want to plan stuff I have to lay it on the bed and I kind of wanted something that I could um, hang bits and bobs on. Like I used to have one in my old flat um, but it wasn't mine, I borrowed it from one of my housemates. Um, and it was so useful and I don't think I quite realised how useful it was until I started living here. And I didn't want to be buying any more house stuff because I've kind of put myself on a spending man for a bit. Because I've bought so much stuff and spent so much money and you know when you're just like, Ugh! Um, <laughs> so yeah, but the rails just arrived and I ordered this because I've actually got a chair coming um, for my room and it's got black on it so I ordered a black rail to kind of go with it because there's nothing else that's black in this room and I kind of wanted something to tie in otherwise it would look a little bit random although it probably look, would look fine in here anyway but I ordered a black rail and I thought I would put it together now because I should be tidying up this mess I got like halfway through and now I'm like there's something to build I'm gonna build it anytime something arrives parcel wise um or if it's like a piece of furniture i'm opening it and i'm building it straight away or i'm opening the parcel straight away i ha it's hard to just leave the parcel and not even open it so i'm gonna build this rail and then i can hang some stuff on it so yay <laughs> and just like that she's built this is the arnie rail from habitat um i did want the one without these bits at the bottom but it wasn't in stock i mean i could actually take them off so i i mean if i hate it i can always take them off but um yeah i really like it i think it looks cute it's like the perfect kind of rail basically in my room there's a lot of like empty space and like i said there's gonna be a chair that will go there probably um and this rail will probably just sit here or sit in the corner i don't know but it'll probably just sit here um, and it just house a lot more things for me to have in here. Um, it may get moved, but for now it's just going to stay here. Um, and it's quite good that it has this bit at the bottom anyway, because I can put shoes and stuff on there. But yeah, that is that. That is done. Um, I think I'm actually going to end the vlog here, because I know there's probably going to be quite a lot of content in this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, more vlogs to come as always. If you aren't already subscribed, please do. I'd love to see you back here more fashion and vlogs to come i know vlogs aren't your favorite thing but i love vlogging and i love chatting and i love sharing new things and so there's going to be more vlogs but i will be up upping the kind of fashion content um because i do really really enjoy that and that's the one thing i'm trying to get myself back into especially now that i've moved so yeah i will catch you all in my next video bye